Okie dokie artichokies. I am back. Wow, I'm such an idiot. Holy Hannah. Holy guacamole. Can you be any more dumber, boy? Seriously. Woo! I'm telling you, man, I make Ric Flair disappoint. I am disappoint. You know, because in order to be the man, you've got to beat the man. Woo! Yeah, sorry. I figured I'd throw that in there for the lols, but uh, nobody's laughing. Huh. How about that? Surprise, surprise, you make a bad joke and nobody laughs. Yeah, anyway. Right over here, we actually came from this entrance when we were a snowball. But I forgot, and this is another thing. I don't know how I missed this. But right over here, we actually found a fish that we gave to Boggy. But if you look up there, look at that. Right there, dude! Gee, you many Christmas! If it were any more obvious, it'd bite you right in the nose and then kiss you right in the booty. And then goose you, for that matter, right in the neck. Woo! Lord have mercy. Okay. So, with that done and out of the way, thank gosh. Oh, I'm gonna... Ow, oh, oh, oh. Ouchie. That hurt. That, that... that yeah, yeah. Hot water equals don't touchy. I know this for, for, to be true because, you know, if you make coffee or you warm up a cup of hot water or warm up a cup of hot water, warm up a cup of water so it's hot like you're making coffee or you're making tea, and then you accidentally slosh some of that on you. Yeah, it, it tends to hurt. It tends to hurt just a little bit. You know, it's it's not going to tickle. It's not going to tingle. It's going to sting like a thousand bees just stung you right there. I don't know. Maybe maybe it doesn't feel like quite like that. Actually, I think you'd probably be dead if you were stung by a thousand bees. I don't know. Maybe somebody has survived a thousand bee stings. Would you stop... You're making people uncomfortable. They're like, oh, oh, bee stings. I'm sure there's some people out there who have been stung by a bee before, actually. I ought to make that my question of the video. Like, have you been stung by a bee before? But I don't know. I got so many questions of the video today, man. I don't, I just, I don't even know. Anywho. So, we come to the point of why I was, why I've been cutting and editing so much of this wandering around out. And I apologize if it's annoyed anybody. The reason I want to do that is because I want to get the backtracking done in this video. So let's go ahead and do that. First things first, we need to make our way to... Actually, we're right here where we need to be. What am I doing? Dancing around like an idiot? Okay. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. I was just thinking to myself, you know what, I'll just do that. Just, just to like see if it'll make myself laugh, and it did. Oh my gosh. That's pretty pitiful. Something like that can make you laugh. Anywho, <laughs> still can't get over it. <laughs> oh, I'm going delirious, y'all. Somebody needs somebody needs to like call for some help because I'm like I'm going delirious. I'm, I'm laughing at really bad stuff. We need to use split up pads and Jolly Rogers Bay Lagoon, whatever you want to call it. It's a lagoon, dude. Come on. And we need to go into the back door entrance we created when we first entered here. Because over here, there's the gold nugget on the cliffside that we couldn't even get to. However, with our newly learned glide move, we can actually reach this with, without a hesitation's mo a moment's notice. I don't even know what I was trying to say there. I, I think I had, a, I had a few phrases I wanted to say. Gold nugget! That was one of them. So, I'm not going to talk you guys' ears off. I'm going to meet you guys back at Grunty's Industries, because that is our next place of interest, our next destination of adventuring. So, see you guys there! Ah, and the sweet smell of sludge in the morning is back. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Just want to taste that and lick it all up and wallow in it. Okay, seriously, dude, stop. Stop with your disgustingness. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, we're back on floor one of Grunty's Industries. What we want to do is we want to go ahead and split up Banjo-Kazooie. We don't have to do that here, per se, but I'm going to go ahead and do that just so I can save us some time. And then we're going to go back down to the air conditioning room, or air conditioning plant, I should say. And if you remember, a long time ago when we beat Welder, we actually unlocked a new room, but I don't think I... Well, actually, I did, yeah, I did. I did go in there. I did, I did, I did, dear putty cat! Anyway, <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to re-enter that room that I showed you that we couldn't do anything in. Unless, of course, I forgot to show it, then, hey, this is your first time going there. My memory's failing me right now. What a surprise. It was failing me a couple episodes back, I'm telling you, man. 
Good grief. I think I need to, like, do something about that. I need to, like, do a jump start of my brain, like, do some kind of brain exercise. Because I think maybe that'll help my memory out a little bit. Because I've, I've heard of, like, if you test yourself, quiz yourself, or do little things that help me help you think, you'll actually, like, you'll start thinking more clearly. Of course, a good night's rest also does wonders, too, does the trick, but, you know. What's sleep? I don't even know what that is. That's, that's some kind of foreign thing I never heard of. I don't see that very often. No, <laughs> just kidding, y'all. I'm good. So we got a gold nugget! It's, I'll bet, a little uh, nasty and slimy, but we got it. And we used our new move, the Shack Pack. I should probably have actually said that. So now that we have done that, and by the way, over here are the slit-up pads. And additionally, while I'm thinking about it, if you were to sneak peek through there, you could actually see that this leads right into the toxic waste disposal basement. I swear to goodness, we've had like four or five gold nuggets in that room. Referenced in that room. It feels like we have, or at least we've been in that room, I don't know how many times. Anyway, we're rambling. I will meet you guys back at Spiral Mountain because we got some Cheeto pages we gotta dump off. So let's do that. Huh? In a game of shoots and ladders, I chose ladder. I win! Yeah! Speaking of which, have any of you ever played shoots and ladders? Oh, if you haven't, you need to get on that. Get on that, sirs and ma'ams. That is a good game. I guess I'm tuning in right here. Great! You've got enough pages for me to tell you a new cheat. About damn time. It's about time, too! Spill the beans, you cretin! Hand over my precious pages first. Greedy bastards. Much obliged. Hmm, for my fourth cheat, let's see. How about Honeyback? Got it? Well, that's all the cheats I can give for you now. If you find any more secret pages, you know where to find me. This is the menu of cheats, and I'm going to waste your time. So this is my moment to say, I will meet you. Silent Senior will meet you guys in Target Sands or Mayan Temple. See you there. You're too slow! You're too slow! You're too slow! Man, I ran a circle around you. You didn't even hit me. What's the matter with you? You need to step up your game, statue. This is the big leagues, buddy! You need... Just... Oh, what even? I don't even know what reference I was going for. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and enter this new cheat in. Um... I, oh my gosh, that's embarrassing. I actually almost forgot where, what it was. Honey back! So... Let's get an H. Can I get an O for 500? Can I get an N for not happening? Can I get an E for E? He's my favorite! Can I get a Y for why bother? <laughs> and while we're at it, let's back it up. Back, back, back it up. Back, back, back it up. Yeah! Alright, one more time. Yeah, if you can hear that, that's actually my guinea pig. Sorry about that, y'all. He's actually letting me know, hey, I'm thirsty over here, dude. The Honeyback Cheek will automatically replenish your energy for him. And no, I'm not being an abuser, I promise you. He actually does have water. He just He's letting me know by rattling it that it's almost empty and I need to refill it. And I do actually need to do that. Alright, so, the Honeyback Cheek. This is probably what a lot of Banjo-Tooie players consider to be the broken, the OP Cheek, if you will. As the name implies, if your energy is low, and luckily we have a dummy in here. Come here, dummy. Oh, ow! Why your kisses hurt so much, man? Ooh, why you hit so hard? Yeah, look at that. Look at that crap. If you wait a little bit, boom, there it is. Our life's coming right back. So, I have a little proposition for y'all. I'm going to keep this cheat on for a little bit, at least for the next world, just because it's a cheat well-deserving of demonstrating its true might. But it's not only because of that, it's also because in the next area that we're going to be going to, Having Honeyback probably won't do us any good. In fact, Fallproof won't even do us any good where we're going. And, um, this is the proposition for y'all. I'm going to keep it on during that world. However, when we get to the end game stuff, I want you all to know, I want you all to let me know. This is the real question in the video. I've got like three of them up so far. Jeez, but this is the one I want to know seriously. Do you all want me to turn off all these cheats when I go face off against the big head honcho in the final battle? You know, when we get to the end game, let me know in the comments if you want me to go balls to the wall and just kick some serious iguana booty without any type of armor upgrades or any of that crap. You know, just go straight up. This is me. This is how I am. And I'm going to use my natural, like, strength to beat this person or beat this battle. Answer in the comments below. And in the meantime, while you're thinking about that or while I'm probably 
in wondering what you all are going to think, let's go ahead and fill in this next puzzle. This is the next world. Jiggy Wiggy's Challenge! Oh boy, they're really uh, helping us out here with all these puzzle pieces, man. I'm telling you. Alright, so, the next world. I actually have not mentioned the world yet, the name of the world. How surprising of me, actually. How fitting. Or how fitting. How... Ha! <laughs> fitting. <laughs> okay, sorry. That was actually worth laughing at. Um, this is a world I'm surprised I haven't spoiled yet, because it is quite a big deal. It's, um, I don't know if it's rumored to be, but... I've heard a lot of opinions on it, as far as, like, watching people's Let's Plays of Banjo-Tooie, and seeing their opinions. But, this is my opinion. This, this world is called Cuckoo Cloudland. It is definitely a memorable world. Not just because of the name, but also because it makes me feel like I'm kind of going into sort of an Alice in Wonderland in the sky. It's weird with all the stuff they have up here. You, you guys won't even... You, you will crap a brick, probably, at seeing some of the bizarre crap. Garbage. Huh. <laughs> Speaking of garbage, anyway, we're not going to talk about that right now. But yeah, you, you guys will be amazed at the amount of stuff that is here. And I'm rambling again, I apologize. But trust me, you all are probably going to like this next world. And hopefully I don't take an eternity to finally record it, you know? I mean, seriously. It took us this long to get through Hailfire Peaks, like a month or so. In fact, it took us too long to get this Let's Play done, but... Who's counting time, seriously? You have completed Jiggy Wiggy's Challenge 8. So now, I, the Great One, will show you the way. Arrogant much? It's a title gifted only to those who are of my stature. Got it. So, you're probably wondering, where the heck are we gonna go? We've been to just about every place twice. I mean, there's no room left. I mean, yeah, I saw the place where it is, but where the heck do we go? Behold, the power of the mighty Jiggy Wiggy! Some of you are probably thinking like, okay, so you're mentioning something about this being in the sky, so how the fudge are we gonna get there? It's not like a door can open up, you know, everything we, thus far, we've busted down a door, broke something, smashed something, SMASHED HIS FACE WITH AN IRON! How are we gonna get there? Seriously. Oh, okay, so there's this hole. What are you gonna do, man? What are you gonna do? SHOW ME THE MAGIC! SHOW ME THE MONEY! And... WHAT?! A bubble? Seriously? Is that all I had to do? I could have blown one of those! You are indeed the chosen one. You also have enough gold nuggets to attempt Jiggy Wiggy's Challenge 9. We'll do that next time. Actually, we won't do it next time. We'll do that much later. But next time on Let's Play Banjo 2, y'all, we are going to officially. Ah, I'm excited! Let me do the Ric Flair Woo! Woo! Okay. We are going to travel to Cuckoo Cloud Land, and we are going to have a ball. It's going to be one hell of a time, and I'm looking forward to it. Y'all should be getting excited for it. Not only because I like the world, but also because I'm almost caught up to Dark-Minded Civ. I'm catching, I'm catching up to you, buddy. You ain't going to finish this Let's Play before I do, man. I, and you've been working at it just as long as I have, I think. Or maybe I've been working at it longer. I don't know. But anyway, details aside, thank you for watching. Love y'all bunches. Please let the tail slap, and peace out, y'all. Check it.